Hi everyone, so the first thing I'm doing as always is prepping the eye area and to do that I'm using my MAC Paint Chili Paint Pot, no surprise there. I'm using a synthetic brush to apply this all over the eye area and then I'm patting over top with my finger to melt the product into the skin. Then I'm setting that base with some powder and I'm using the Urban Decay D Slick Powder. I never hear people talking about this product, I don't know why, because it's fantastic and I know I couldn't be without it. I'm using a couple of palettes today and I'm starting out with the Juvia's Place Masquerade eyeshadow palette. I'm picking up some of the shade Burkina which is a really nice warm brown and I'm using this as my transition colour. So I'm beginning on the outer third of the lid, adding some colour there and then I'm sweeping the colour up and into the crease. When I've gotten the bulk of the colour off my brush then I'm going to work on fading the edges so with quite large circular motions I'm pulling that colour upwards towards the brow. I'm going for a halo of smoky eye today so I'm adding some of that brown to the inner corner too and then leaving a space clear in the centre of my lid. Then I'm taking that shadow down along the lower lash line and bringing it right into the tear duct. Next I'm taking the shade Ada which is a rich ready brown and I'm applying this in the same way as the previous shade. One thing I noticed with this palette is that some of the more neutral shades, the colour you see in the pan isn't really the colour that applies to the lid. So for instance I thought this was a deep red toned brown but it actually looks lighter. The red is quite prominent but it's still a nice shadow nonetheless. Um, I'm taking it down along the lower lash line now and again sweeping it all the way into that inner corner. Next I'm hopping over to my Meat Matrimony palette from the Balm and I'm taking the shade Matte Kumar and I'm deepening up the look a little with this shadow. Now at this stage you might feel like you're starting to resemble MC or Selena and even more so when we start to add the black but stick with me the addition of the gold does calm things down unless that's the look you're going for which is a-okay in my books um, but yeah I'm sweeping the shadow down along the lower lash line now making sure to connect it up on that outer corner and then like I said I'm going in with some black so I'm taking a smaller brush this time a small pencil brush because I'm going to be quite precise with my application so I'm adding this to the very outer third of the eye and then the very inner third of the eye because I want you to still be able to see that red on the lid so I'm applying the black to either side of it. Then I'm sweeping a decent amount of black eyeshadow down along the lower lash line so adding a small amount at a time and then blending as I go and I started with a pencil brush just because it was in my hand but I find it doesn't get right in at that lash line so I like to use an angled brush for that. I can press the shadow right into my lashes and then soften out the edges again with my pencil brush. Starting with the angled brush and then smoking things out with the pencil brush will actually quicken the process so that order is better. Now I'm taking Casablanca from my Masquerade palette and this shadow seriously packs a punch. I find it actually applies better with your fingers but it can be applied with a brush. I applied a little at a time just to limit the amount of fallout. Now I'm taking a small amount more of that black eyeshadow and I'm connecting the black eyeshadow in the crease. So starting on the outer corner I'm sweeping the shadow across into the crease and down to meet that black on the inner corner of the eye. Then I'm taking a tiny bit more of Ada on a fluffy blending brush and I'm sweeping over the black to soften it into the red. With a larger fluffier brush I'm then taking a little more of my face powder and sweeping around the edges of the entire look just to make sure it all fades out nicely. For my waterline I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil and I'm lining that really well because I don't want any fleshy tones peeking through. For the lashes I'm adding some of the So Su Milan lashes as these are nice and dramatic and they complement the look nicely. Then I'm finishing things off with a couple of coats of my Lash Renegade Mascara and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.